Stay in the zone during your next esports tournament or give yourself a pick me up during late night gaming sessions and punishing live streams with quantum energy. Created for gamers by gamers, the sugar free energy drink offers a balanced blend to give you a noticeable boost of energy without the nasty crash. Quantum energy drink is easy to carry around during gaming conventions or while you're on the road. There's no need to lug around heavy cans, this compact and lightweight tub fits easily into a backpack. Use the link in the description and when you check out the code GD for 10% off all orders. Hello YouTube, it's Dallas here and welcome back to the Name My Project. In today's episode, we have for you some Foot Champs gameplay. As you can see on the screen, the team has changed a bit differently from the last episode and I've done a couple of adjustments and the major one has been including Hakimi into our midfield. Now, we've purchased, I'm pretty sure this is Baby Zambrotta, we've purchased Baby Zambrotta. He did play for Barcelona, he played 85 games for them, so he, you know he's eligible for the Neymar project. So he comes in, we brought in Xavi, and we are setting up in this formation. It is a real ultra attacking, you know, play style that we're using. We're using defensive style, pressure on heavy touch, 35 width, 70 depth. Balance build up play, direct passing at 35 width. Now, in terms of in game, this is how we line up. We've got Neymar and Mbappe up top, both getting behind, stay forward. Now, I think I'm going to put Mbappe just on normal interceptions. Then we've got Messi on stay forward. Then we've got Xavi on stay back. We've got Paqueta on get forward. Then we've got Hakimi on stay back, cut passing lanes, cover center. Zambrano on stay back. We've got Roberto Carlos on balance, so he's going to give us that you know extra attacking option on the left hand side. Then we've got Paqueta with the extra attacking option on the right hand side. And then Donnarumma come for crosses, sweeper, keeper. So this is what we use. Now you're going to see some gameplay of you know the team that we started with last week. Um, well, you know our last episode, which had Griezmann in it. And Griezmann is phenomenal. He's really good. I have nothing against Griezmann. The thing was, at the later stages of those couple games, I put in Hakimi into the midfield. And I took out uh, Guardiola, put in Dest where Hakimi is a right back. I put Hakimi into the midfield. And he just dominated. Absolutely dominated. So, for me... I want to try him out in the midfield. Now, he does step up a bit because he's got high attacking, medium defensive. And the way that we want to play, it's actually perfect. It just gives us that extra, extra, you know, depth up the field, extra pressure on the def uh, on the opponent. And that's it. I want to play enjoying football. I don't, you know, we've grind, we've sweated, you know, we went 18 and 2. We've gotten rank 1, uh, you know, in the first set of full chance rewards. We've done it all, right? Now I just want to play enjoying, like, enjoyable FIFA. I want to jump on the game, enjoy myself. I don't want to be out there, you know, playing position to all that. I want to go out there. I want to dominate my opponent and get them out quick and fast. So this is basically my idea, you know, around this. And then, you know, we are using Prime Xavi. He's great. He's really great. And he excites me when he gets his moments card. You know, he's probably, he's, he's probably going to get 84 pace. You know, big boost in his defending physicality. Uh, so, you know, it's a card in the future that we could, you know, get into the side. But at the moment, phenomenal. So, this is side boys. Let's get into some gameplay. All right, boys. So, let's get into some foot champs gameplay. And let's talk about how we went. <clears throat> now, first of all, I want to talk about is the DNF glitch that was in this weekend. Especially for a Friday uh, Friday night Australian time and Saturday morning Australian time and that's when I started playing there was a DNF glitch if you didn't see on Twitter which people were DNFing uh, you know their opponents through connecting to their hotspot playing on their hotspot and let's say if they were losing they would uh, get you know another phone call themselves and then you know basically get themselves a loss anyway because you know they're already losing but also make their opponent lose that game so that was a glitch that was happening i copped that twice i copped that twice 
and I only lost two games this weekend league on top of those so 14 um so yeah boys it's, it's frustrating it's frustrating you know because we could have had such a good you know week we could have gone 18 and 2 this weekend league and you know that's essentially what could have happened you know obviously there's other two games who knows if we would have won them or not but we only lost two games you know the other two games were from dnf so how this can get through patches and stuff is beyond me um but it still does and it's ea and yeah i, I don't know but anyway back to the gameplay how did the team perform the big maneuver was hakimi in the midfield how was that phenomenal first of all phenomenal he is he, he's a cheat code you know i was talking to my mates and my mate was like where's hakimi playing I'm like, he's playing on ball. Wherever the ball is, Hakimi is there, right? It doesn't matter if he's a CDM. He's just everywhere, you know, literally everywhere. He's on ball, and it's unbelievable how good he is in the midfield. So, that, that's how we're going to run. We're going to run this 4 on 2 on 2 The midfield was unbelievable. Xavi put in some big performances. Paqueta is always doing Paqueta type things. Paqueta plays like a team of the year. Um... So, you know, he's unbelievable. So, with Paqueta, Hakimi, Xavi, that combo in the midfield, unbelievable. Then you've got the front three of Messi, Mbappe, and Neymar. It's lethal, right? It is lethal. Zambrota, I thought, played phenomenal as well. He had a really, really good weekend league uh, as well at the right-back position. Obviously, Marquinhos, Ibanez, Roberto Carlos are going to perform, you know, like how they always do. And also, Donnarumma. Donnarumma, boys, for me, I had a real hate... For him i don't know what's happened you know after i played the 10 games with this donnarumma and got that loyalty he will, he's become the best keeper i've ever used in this game you know so donnarumma is doing donnarumma type thing so for me boys the team this main team doesn't need to be touched it really doesn't you know now it's about upgrading our past and present size and then waiting for those big icon SBCs, you know, hopefully a Cruyff, a Maradona, a Ronaldinho, something like that, a Makalele, that's the only thing that's really going to finish our team, like, honestly, like, our team is so in game at this moment, that it doesn't need much players, so, that's where we can now look towards building our past and present sides and using them, which we have been, but it's just, you know, putting some more emphasis in those, so, that's that aside, and that comes to the thing I want to talk about is me potentially starting a career mode. You know, maybe one episode every week, you know, one or two episodes every week, you know, a big kind of episode, get through a lot, a lot of games, sort of thing, sort of, you know, like, you know, a jam-packed episode of a career mode, maybe, you know, just some more content on the channel. Uh, I'm not too sure, but it's in the mix at the moment. So, you know, I have COVID at the moment, so I'm in ISO. Which means I want to do a couple of streams and I will be doing that. So stay tuned. After this, we'll be doing a stream. 100%. The next video will be a stream. Also, on the screen right now are our player picks. And you're going to see the worst player picks I've seen. Honestly, ridiculous. They couldn't have even given me an Obama Young for our Barca side. You know, this side is just abysmal. But what are these picks? This is what we got for... For 16 and 4, this is what we got. Was it worth it? No. I probably would have gotten better picks going 14 or 13, uh, fourteen or 11. So it just shows, boys, you don't need to stress out in for champs because it doesn't reward you. I ended up going 16 and 4. I could have gone 18 and 2 if we didn't get a DNF glitch. But this is what we got. Garbage picks. I've also done a full champs upgrade. You're gonna see who we get. But anyway, boys, that is the end of the video. As always, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell. Join the Discord server. The link is below. And as always, boys, remember, relax, have a yours, and I'll be back in the next video.